ball game. Pitt was able to move the ball consistently on Penn State. The reverse was certainly not true. But the pregame analyst said the one thing Penn State did have was the big play makers. They were capable of making the big play. Penn State took advantage of turnovers and made the big offensive play. Like a change at the line of scrimmage. And Jemmy in the flat. Pass is caught by McCall to the 25 to 20. 15 yard line. Joe McCall, the tailback, picking up 13 yards and another pit first down. Mark Fruan finally came up to make the tackle. Stan, that was a very well executed play. And Jemmy read double coverage to the wide receiver, checked off, and hits McCall in a swing pass. Now watch can Jemmy look upfield, see the coverage, dump it off to his tailback, McCall, who's running free. There's another angle out. You see him. That's a tough pass to complete. Mashantonio's the first one to get near him. Slows him down. Pitch in scoring position. McCall, left guard, gets four yards to the 11-yard line. Kinjemi is four out of four for 58 yards. Mash Antonio and Bob White make the tackle. McCall gains four. It'll be second down and six yards to go from the 11-yard line. And Pitt, despite a motion penalty, has taken the ball right downfield against Penn State. They started this drive at their own 28-yard line. This is Pitt's initial possession of the game. There are 10 minutes to play in the first quarter. Lining up in a pro set on second and six. Time. Now he'll run to the near boundary and he gets shoved out of bounds by Harry Hamilton at the line of scrimmage. Perhaps a gain of a half yard. George, was that an option or was he trying to throw all the way? Well, no, he has the option to throw first and run if he can, if he doesn't have a receiver. But Bob White did a great job and we could see it. All right, they're rolling out here. He's behind McIntyre. White will just throw a rolling block, forcing Kajemi a little deep, and Hamilton forces him out of bounds. He doesn't take the fake. Excellent coverage in the secondary. He could not find a receiver. All right, Penn State, which has had problems holding teams on third down. Base one now. Third and six from the 11 yard line. Out of the eye of the pro set. Blitz. And Jemmy throws in the end zone. And it is incomplete. Almost caught for a touchdown by Dwight Collins. Chris Sidner on the coverage. And Pitt will attempt a field goal. And that was great coverage. Sidner was body to body, belly to belly with him. Adam all the way. Well, Pitt has had some confusion with their field goal kicker because of the injury to Eric Schubert. However, we do expect to see him on fourth and six. And Schubert will come in. He's had a knee problem, but he's ready to kick. He's not kicked in three weeks. Schubert is seven out of ten on the year in field goals. This will be a 27-yard field goal angle to the right. Ball's down. Kick is up. It is long enough, and it is good. After Pitt moved for a field goal on the Panthers' first possession to lead 3-0, Penn State has the ball with Pitt leading 3-0. Well, we talk about special teams play. The snap, there's a fumble, and Penn State has recovered. Scott Radisick has recovered the fumble at the Pitt 20-yard line. You know, Stan, Lady Luck comes to play once in a while. Here they are. Penn State makes a bad play, which would have down the ball on the one. But they take it out to the 20, and then Pitt fumbles on the exchange. That's just luck. John you see Jimmy miss, just missing the snap. He just pulled out. Uh, you know, it didn't look like he had a good grasp of it. Scott Radisick with the recovery. Penn State on the year is a plus six in turnovers. Pitt now is a plus eight. 6 3 to play first quarter. Pitt leading great enough. Operating out of the pro set. Ed Boom still in there, a tackle in place of short. Dozier following Williams, tries to get outside. He will lose three yards back to the 23-yard line. Fifth defensive front making great penetration. And Bill Callahan, the strong safety, came up strong to make the tackle. And when you have a safety coming up in the backfield, they're obviously reading. Well, definitely the king on Dozier, but you'll see great lateral pursuit down the line of scrimmage. He could not find a crease, and you see Callahan come up from the strong safety as secondary force to make the hit. Dozier loses four yards, so on three carries, he has gained zero officially. 
Slot right on second down and 14. Spray. He can run. He throws in the end zone. Kenny Jackson, touchdown, Penn State. An ad lib play by Doug Spray and an ad lib by Kenny Jackson. He beat Melvin Dean, the quarterback, and Jackson with his sixth touchdown catch of the year. That's more than an ad lib, Stan. You see the rollout here. Now, Dozier will come back and hit Wendlandkowski, giving Strang enough time. He gets it nice and high. Watch Kenny Jackson's leaping ability. He takes it away from two people and then jumps into the end zone for the touchdown. Great play by Kenny Jackson. Nick Gansitano, 31 out of 33 on extra points, will kick. His kick is true. There was no further scoring, and the first quarter ended with the score, Penn State 7, Pitt 3. We'll be back right after this. Down in inches at the Penn State 21. McCall, he's got the first down and drives to the Penn State 17-yard line. So Joe McCall picking up four yards and a pit first down. Hamilton and Fruhan making the tackle for Penn State. And again, they ran over Frau like a, you know, just he just buried the defensive man on that. You don't have to be a genius football strategist to realize where they're going on short yardage. Now, there's an excellent surge. He's got a lead blocker. Fralick's got his man. Makes the first down easy. Collins in a slot to the left. Wallace outside of him on first and 10 at the 17. And Jimmy rolling. Beats the pressure. Throws in the corner of the end zone. Out of bounds. The reception was made by Collins, but he did not have the one foot in. The pass will be declared incomplete. He was open, but the pass thrown to his outside. It'll be second down and 10. Number 77, Scott Carra from Penn State was claiming it was being held, and it was pretty close. Collins sharing the career touchdown record at Pitt with Julius Dawkins. Nick Hayden from Pittsburgh. So many of the Penn State players are from the Pittsburgh area. Played against these Pitt players in high school. It is second down and 10 at the Penn State 17. And Jimmy over the middle in the end zone. Touchdown Pitt. The touchdown pass to Bill Wallace. He beat Mike Zornich on the play. And a 17-yard touchdown pass from John Kinjemi to Bill Wallace. Man, that was a great throw. It had to be a perfect throw. You'll see this. And Jimmy looking very sharp. Spots Wallace to the left of the screen. Who ran a corner pattern. The ball had to be perfectly thrown over Fruin's hands to make the touchdown. Great throw. And Jimmy with his 12th touchdown pass of the year. Wallace with his sixth touchdown catch. Schubert, 20 out of 20 on extra points this year. Kick is up. And the kick is good. After Pitt scored a second time, Penn State has the ball trailing 10-7. 9-15 to play in the half. Penn State at their own 15, first and 10. Dozier is hit at the line of scrimmage. Stan Jonathan Williams still has not touched the football. Eight fifty two to play in the half on first down DJ Dozier again carried for no yardage Dozier is averaging 90 yards a game has now zero yards in five carries and it is obvious that Pitt is keying on DJ Dozier and they're going to have to get the ball to the fullback to slow him down Strang will throw over to the sideline Kevin Bowles got it at the 27 yard line the gain is good for 12 and a Penn State first down Troy Hill the cornerback made the stop on Kevin Bow Bow is Penn State's leading receiver that is his 34th catch of the year beautifully executed play will fake it a off tackle play to the short side Bow did a 12 yard out came back to the ball first down one wonders George in addition to getting the ball to John Williams with the keying on Josher what a halfback pass might do if they had that in their arsenal. Well, possibly, but that quick trap to the fullback when they came on a tailback, you know, could be very effective. Jackson in motion. This is Williams. He sneaks forward for about okay, three yards out to the 30. 24. So they did give it on the inside trap to John Williams. 
three yard gain. Aldisert and Wayne Glikowski make the tackle. They are working on DJ Dozier on the sideline, and he is experienced, experiencing his first really rugged day. No yards and five carries, and he has to get eight for each 1,000. That is an unbelievable statistic as they work on Dozier. Tony Mumford is the tailback on second down and seven, Penn State at their own 30. Back at the same play. Sprang looking to the sideline, wide open as Bobby's got it at the 40, makes a move and drives out near the 43-yard line, and that will be good for another Penn State first down. So Doug Strang, after a slow start, is beginning to heat up. Uh, this is a double out type of a situation now. Strang spots bow. Watch the quick out right here. Wide open in front of Dean. Great reception. Strang now 7 out of 11 for 106 yards. Bill Callahan, Melvin Dean making the tackle. Penn State at their own 42. Seven minutes exactly to play in the half. Pitt leads 10-7. He's tripped up the line of scrimmage and falls forward for a couple. Bill Moss tripped up Mumford. There's a hole there, but Moss stuck a hand up and knocked him down. Let's give him a gain of one. Let's call it second down and nine yards to go on the year. Mumford averaging four and a half per carry. Skeeter Nichols now coming into the game. John Williams heading out as Penn State faces a second down and nine at their own 43. Pitt took the lead 3-0. Penn State countered with a touchdown to make it 7-3. And Pitt regained the lead at 10-7. Blitz. Strang throwing deep. Jackson is wide open. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Penn State. Kenny Jackson, a 57-yard touchdown bomb. His second touchdown catch of the game. Super throw by Doug Strang. Pitt came with the blitz. Uh, Jackson was running with his head to the wrong side. Now watch this. You'll see Strang hang the ball out. He's under pressure. He allows Jackson to make an adjustment. Turning back to the inside, had his man beat. Touchdown. He, Great throw. He really beat Troy Hill very badly. A Flynn, of course, is a free safety, a center fielder, as it were, but the initial coverage what little there was was provided by Troy Hill. Following Penn State's touchdown pass from Strang to Jackson, the duo's second of the game. The Lions lead 14-10, and Pitt has the ball. Hurry up! Check off. And you're on the ball at the line of scrimmage. Penn State's coming. Pass in the flat. Oh, it oh. is caught in a great catch at the 20-yard line. Bill Wallace making a one-hand over-the-shoulder catch. Magnificent catch by Wallace. Well, Mark Fruin had good coverage on him. It's a checkoff. Actually, this ball could have been intercepted. It just was, act, the ball is way over his head. Made a great one-handed catch. First and 10 at the 20. 17 seconds to play in the half. To Jimmy. He's hit it sack of the 27-yard line. Joe Hine. He really came pounding through. Well, they put the blitz on again. And I don't know, we've seen all year long where the blitz has bothered Penn State. Now they're turning around and giving it out, dishing it out a little bit on his own. That was great penetration by Hines. Now what happens when you blitz? You put pressure on the quarterback, and sometimes it's not even there, but he feels it. And he has to tr tries to get rid of the ball, but he can't. Hines beat his man and puts him in, and puts him in the deeper territory for the field goal. You see Hines beat his man and make the tackle. with nothing, and that will hurt him. And Jimmy, out of time, throwing deep in the end zone, wide open to Wallace, he overthrows him. Wallace had through hand beat. But the pass was overthrown. It would have been and should have been a touchdown. Now six seconds to play. Well, he had the right play. That's one of the few bad throws that Jimmy has made. I mean, Wallace had made two super catches, and he didn't even get a chance to make that. He was wide open. Wallace, a junior, his first year as a starter from Flemington, New Jersey, 6'2", 190 pounds. Now, Pitt apparently is going to try to get the one play in and not go for the field goal. Apparently they feel that Schubert cannot kick a 45-yarder. Apparently so. So now it is third down. Six seconds to play. Here's the blitz. And Jimmy 
is forced out of there. He rolled. He's hit and he's brought down. And they're going to call a flag on the play. Roughing the passer, I believe, or maybe intentional grounding. And the time has run out of the first half. Steve Scepter, the big pressure and the hit. Can Jemmy is called for intentional grounding. And Penn State's defense makes the big play, and they hold on to their lead at the half. There was no further scoring, and the half ended with the score. Penn State 14 pit 10. We'll be back right after this. Here they come. And Jimmy's hit. He fumbles. It's loose. Penn State. Touchdown. Now they're going to call it down at the two yard line. Scott Radisick has the football. And Penn State will have it first and goal at the two. Pitt has fumbled on the first three plays of the second half. There's a half line stunt. Watch 97. Come on, a blitz. Bashantonio comes. They come from the outside. Hey, when you put pressure on an offense, all things happen. Penn State gets the football. The ruling there is, of course, in college football, the defense may not advance the fumble. Shane Conlon is the man who hit John Kinjemi, number 31. Here he comes. He comes from a defensive linebacker spot, but you talk about difference of night and day. Penn State is blitzed on almost every play in the last 10 se uh, sequences. Pitt fumbles three times in a row. They lose the third. Power eye right. First and goal for the two. Dozier hit it to one. Touchdown, Penn State. Dozier with his patented spin move is in on one play. And Penn State, again taking advantage of a pit fumble, has gone to a 20 to 10 lead. After Penn State recovered a pit fumble and moved for a touchdown next to point, the Lions lead 21 to 10, and Pitt has the ball. Here's McCall trying to get outside. The 35 to 40, and he's out across the 40, and a pit first down at their own 43-yard line. Radisic moving laterally made the tackle, but the gain for Joe McCall gives Pitt a first down at their own 43. Great block on White. This is a counterplay. Tailback counter. You'll see the fullback going now. Watch McCall. That's Fralick they're pulling. Watch him. Number 79 on Hamilton. I mean, that's a truck out there. They ought to put a license plate on that kid. No contest out in the open field. First and 10. Bailey behind Kinjemi. They're in a slot left with McCall. This is Bailey. Right tackle. Gets good yard. Five yards, he'll take that anytime on first down. Shane Conlon made the tackle. But not before, Bailey picks up five. It'll be second down and five. Ten minutes, 15 seconds to play. Third quarter, Penn State leading 21 to 10. Bailey now with 23 yards on six carries as Pitt continues to alternate fullbacks Bailey and Marlon McIntyre. Stennett comes out, wide right, a slot left. And again, you see Kajemi changing plays at the line of scrimmage. Fullback, he's hit hard at the line of scrimmage. And McIntyre gets perhaps a yard out to the 49. It'll be third down and four yards to go. Marlon McIntyre picking up one. Gattuso and Mashi Antonio on the tackle. A lot of chess playing out there. That time Conlon, he shows double coverage on a wide receiver, comes back to the inside and blitz, got in on attack. So another third down conversion attempt by Pitt. Completed. Four out of 11. Third down and four. McCall driving forward for the first down to the Penn State 45. Good blocking by the Pitt offensive line because it looked as though Penn State would have the opportunity to stack them up. But McCall picked up five yards when he needed four, and Pitt has a first down. Radisic making the tackle. That was a good call, Stan. Penn State kind of anticipated pass on that particular play. They gave it off to McCall, again, over Frowley. Well, Foch Fazio doing what I thought he might, trying to settle his club down a little bit. They have marched from their own 20 to the Penn State 45, all on the ground, getting things back into perspective. 8.45 to play third quarter. Well, let's see if they open up now that they're in Penn State territory. Jimmy looking, throwing the home run ball. Wallace is open. Touchdown, Pitt. Bill Wallace beating Fruhan. Bad 
incomplete. And it's a 45-yard touchdown bomb of John Kinjemi to Bill Wallace, their second connection of the day. Well, you wanted to know when they're going to open up. Now they faked it. Here's a little bootleg. Faked the counter. They got one and one. Wallace against Froon. Through hand, he beats him. The ball, again, a great, great uh, throw by Kinjemi. was right there. There was no further scoring, and the third quarter ended with the score. Penn State 21, Pitt 17. We'll be back right after this. Third down, 13. Pitt outside its 42-yard line. Throws wide open and it's caught for first down at the Penn State 38 yard line. The pass received again by Bill Wallace. Mark Fruan made the tackle, but the big third and 13 and Pitt makes the conversion. Well, of course, that's an awfully big play. They went to the short side of the field. You see Wallace just threw it out. He got on, he got behind the undercover and in front of Fruan. But Kajemi, give credit to Kajemi. Had to be a perfect throw. Oh, Pitt. Makes the big third down play. They have it first and 10 at the Penn State 38. And now everybody's running around. Flags are covering the field like a tarpaulin. Mike Durundo, the left guard, is probably the guilty party. Shooting offside. You can tell by Jimmy's reaction that indeed it will go against the Pitt Panthers. Bill Wallace just having a magnificent game. Eight catches, 133 yards, and two touchdowns. The quarterback, Strang, 9 out of 18, 178 yards and two touchdowns, both to Kenny Jackson. Kinjemi, 18 out of 26, 237 yards for two touchdowns, both to Bill Wallace. So it's been the Wallace and Jackson show offensively. So it is first down and 15 after the call of encroachment against Pitt. We're at the Penn State 43. Inside of the fullback and gaining yards inside the 40. The 39-yard line is Mark Bailey. Give him a gain of four. It'll be second and 11. Bob White making the tackle. This game is really teeter-tottered back and forth in the second half. Momentum going to each side. Both teams really having an opportunity to really take command. Neither team has been able to do it. Second and 11. outside gets outside inside the 35 and down to the 32 yard line it will be third down and three Chris Sidnor makes the tackle something Penn State didn't want to do is give up eight yards on second down well this is just that kind of a that sweep type of thing you can take it inside outside Penn State doesn't play it too badly this time Hamilton comes up doesn't really make the tackle but he forces him back inside to the pack keeping him from making a first down again big play guess what it's third down just shy of four yards to go for the first down. Pitt is six out of 15 in third down conversion. McCall hit and dropped near the 30-yard line. He will be short of that first down. It'll be fourth down and about a yard to go. Radisic and Mashi Antonio. Now, what does Pitt do? I would imagine, George, they go for it here. Well, being that Chuba is not a long distance type of field goal kicker, uh, three only makes it 21 20 they have to come back and make another score I'm sure they're going to go for it they put smash Antonio that time and he made the tackle preventing the first down fourth down a yard to go six minutes 45 seconds to play in the game Penn State leading 21 17 a call driving and it's going to be close. Well, Penn State's saying no, but from here, it's awfully co close. McCall tried to make a quick cutback to the inside. I don't know if he got the ball up front. I think he's, they got stopped. Penn State is pointing as if, no, he did not make it based on where the ball was spotted. He had to get to about the 28 and a half yard line, which is very close to where he's at right now. Well, Stan, when he made the cutback, he turned his body sideways, putting the ball on the far arm, which was actually into the backfield a little bit, and that could be the difference. Here's the key measurement of the football game. Penn State is held. 
McCall did not make it. He was short by a bit less than a foot. After Penn State held Pitt on fourth down, the Lions could not move. They punted, and Pitt has the ball. Here it is, third down and five. McCall cutting up field. He's got the first down again. Penn State with an opportunity. And again, McCall with a good run picks up six. He needed five. It's a first down pit at the Penn State 49. Mike Zordich made the tackle. Penn State's getting the penetration, but they are not able to wrap up the pit running backs. And look at the day that Joe McCall has had 135 yards, 27 carries. And we will see Penn State forcing McCall to make the cut. And he does. That's a sign of a very good back who can make the cut inside in traffic. The clock running. 2.20 to play. First and 10 pit at the Penn State 49. And Jimmy in the flat. And it is caught out of the flat by Casper. He is knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. It's a gain of seven. It stops the clock. 2.12 to play. It'll be second and three. Mark Fruhan made the tackle for Penn State. So Pitt, knowing that they have an awful lot of time in the football game, plus their three timeouts, marching for what would be a winning touchdown. Correction, two timeouts. Jemmy has passed for 244 yards. Second down, three yards to go. This is McCall. He's hit hard at the line of scrimmage. Greg Gattuso getting the penetration and knocking McCall for virtually no game. It'll be third down and three. And this game, as football is oftentimes, this game has been a series of third down conversions. Of course, Pitt would go for it on fourth down. One minute, 45 seconds to play in the football game. You see the clock. And Jemmy in the flat, got his man. Breaking loose is Wallace. 30, 25, he's finally down to the 22-yard line. Penn State missing tackles in the secondary. Nash Antonio finally brought Wallace down with help from Fruin. But it's a big first down on a third down and three. All it was designed to do is pick up a first down. A very poor tackling by Fruhan. And able Wallace to pick up another 15 yards. First and 10 at the 22. And Jimmy flushed out, throwing in the end zone. Wallace is open. Touchdown, Pitt. Bill Wallace making a magnificent catch. For the touchdown, 22 yards, and Pitt has taken the lead with 1.15 to play. Wallace made a fantastic catch in the corner of the end zone. Penn State, one-on-one -on -one coverage, not able to get it to Jimmy. The throw is there, but it's really Wallace's catch that makes the difference. After Pitt took the lead, 24-21, Penn State has the ball. Penn State is at the line. It's first and 15, 39 seconds. Strang, looking, looking. He's going to run. He's going to be hit. He's dropped. Back at his 47-yard line. Dennis Atia got him. Penn State will call timeout. 29 seconds to play. Penn State has one timeout remaining. Now at the very least, they've got to pick up. 15 yards to even have a chance at a field goal. Strang looking, throwing over the middle of Dozier. Tries to get outside to the 40, but that will never be enough even to attempt a field goal. The gain is only six. Nobody was open downfield. It'll be third down. 16 yards to go for a first down. Remember, that was second down, so Penn State still has one offensive play to run. Frank looking, throwing deep in the sideline is caught by Dozier, and he's out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Six seconds to play. Now, does Penn State dare try to run a play? Strang, the ball is tipped by a pit defender. 
and Dozier's there on the sideline to catch it. You see it's a good catch, stays in bounds and falls out of bounds. They want to have a chance for a field goal. Counter, Dozier, he's hit, timeout will be called with one second. No, they let the clock run out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did Penn State call timeout? Did Penn State call timeout? The referee said, yes, they did. There should be one second left in the football game. Let's watch a replay of that timeout and with a clock inset in your picture. Dozier is down. He calls time. And did the referee get it then? But again, the thing we don't know is the official time being kept on the field. Joe Paterno looks like he's enjoying himself. Well, so is everybody else. He may be a lot calmer than a lot of people. Nick Gansitano, the junior from Coral Springs, Florida. Penn State, keep in mind the possibility of a fake. If they go through with it, it would be a 32-yard field goal, the last play of the football game. Ball's down, kick is up.